Hi YouTube, it's Princess Diamond. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I seen these super cute passion twists and they were done a little bit different there at the root as you guys can see and I absolutely had to try it out for myself. And so if you want to get all the details and see how I did it, then just keep on watching. She's a diamond. She's a diamond girl. She's a diamond. Diamond, diamond. So the hair that we used is this Cuban twist hair and we only used one pack and you're only going to need one pack of this hair for this style and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like out of the package but then a little later I'll also show you guys how to prep for this hair. We also use this passion twist hair and this one bundle comes with seven packs of this hair. Um, the hair is 24 inches long but there are also other lengths um available i think it comes there's like from 14 to like 30 inches available um and then within each pack of hair so this bundle thing that i'm holding right now has about 16 strands and we were able to do about 10 twists from just one pack and then the product that we'll be using is this eco style gels law as well as this shine and jam the shine and jam i'm using for partying in the eco style gel i'm using for twisting and then i'm also using this cream of nature leave-in treatment hair food to moisturize the hair so i want to start out with just showing you guys how i specifically did the back because the back of her hair was a little shorter and um, i just knew there were going to be some slippage is that a word it was gonna slip so what i did was use some braiding hair and just cut it i didn't need it to be long at all so just um, a little piece of braiding hair and I added it in as if I was doing knotless braids so I didn't want to do a regular box braid for this because I didn't want it to be too much tension especially since we will be wrapping this hair so this knotless um, feed-in method allows it to be a little less tension and as you guys could see I started braiding it a couple times before I even started feeding in the hair I would suggest though when you're doing it when you're having to do this to braid it a little bit looser and I'll show you guys why here in a second but yeah so this is just basically like an anchor to make sure that the twist that you do is not going to slip if you're working on much shorter hair or if there's a section of your hair that is much shorter so as you guys can see I braided it there a couple times and then I only added in two very tiny little um, pieces and that's how I did the knotless braid method and then just braided it I didn't actually have to braid it this far down but I wasn't really sure how far down I was going to twist so I braided it a little bit longer than I really needed to probably I would say two inch max is good enough um, because you don't want to braid it past where you're going to start twisting the the hair again I just want to specify and be clear that this part that I'm doing right here is only needed for the back of her hair because her hair is shorter back here i'm not going to do this on the rest of her hair if you have if your hair is longer throughout your entire head you do not need to do this step you can skip this step this step entirely so as you can see now as i'm going higher um, this part of her hair is a bit longer and so i'm just going to plait her natural hair without adding in any braiding hair and i'm just going to plait this about um about one to two inches long so then you can choose if you want to plait the entire head before moving on to the next step or if you want to plait maybe just a couple maybe like one section of the head before moving on to the next step or literally just do one plait at a time or one twist at a time um, for me, I just did sections. So I did a little section of plaits and then I started doing the twist and I did another section of plaits um, just because I was doing these as natural plaits. I don't know, it just worked better for me. If it's easier for you to do all the plaits first, then by all means, go ahead and do that. All right, so on to the next step, I'm gonna use a crochet hook to loop through the passion twist hair now through the braid. And I'm looping it through just 
about one inch from the like the root of the braid and this is where i meant to make sure that you're if you're adding in braiding hair to make sure that you're braiding it a little bit loose because it can be a little too tight and hard to pull that passion twist hair but again that's just if you're adding in braiding hair if you're doing your natural hair it should be fine so i added one and a half strands of the passion twist hair again i added that in through the braid about one inch down from where the braids start and then with the cuban twist hair i'm going to crochet a very small piece directly at the root of the braid so you don't need to go down far from the braid for this part just directly at the root of, of the braid and then i'm going to start twisting and if you're familiar with doing soft locks i have a tutorial on how to do soft locks um, i'm pretty much just wrapping the hair very similar to that to where i'm like wrapping it really closely one to two inches and then right about here i'm going to take a tiny little strand and i'm going to do a knot and then i'm going to split all of the hair into two sections and then i'm going to start doing the passion twist part and then just to keep it looking natural i would suggest twisting the passion twist hair in the same direction that you wrapped the cuban twist hair okay and then just in a sec i'm going to show you guys how i prep both of the hairs that i'm using so for the passion twist hair i'm using one strand and a half one full strand and a half of a strand for one twist and then i'm just um, separating the hair just to make it a little bit fluffy all right so then i'm going in about one inch down from the root of the braid and crocheting in that passion twist hair and then this is the cuban twist hair and it's 16 inches long and you don't need it that long so what i did was cut it into three sections i only cut it twice so if you cut it twice you will get three sections and i think that's a good length of what you will need for um, wrapping at the base and then you would just split one part of that into about one half to one third um, that's about how big of a section you need when you're crocheting this through as you guys can see i'm crocheting it right there again at the root Okay, and then so after about an inch, inch and a half, I'm going to take a tiny section and I am going to wrap it around to tie it. If you braided it too far down than what you prefer, then you can just take that braid out, split all of the hair in two even halves. and then just do your two strand twists. Okay, so for my visual learners or those that just want to see this done a little bit slowed down, um, in a second, I'm going to slow it down and do it at regular speed. But real quick, I just want to give you guys a little bit more information. So for the passion twist hair, that, like I said, came in seven packs and we did use all seven packs. So the passion twist hair is the curly hair, remember? And we actually ended up running out of it. So I think I could have did the parting a little bit bigger and still been okay. This still would have been really full. And so with each pack of the Passion Twist hair, we were able to do about 10, 10 and a half twists out of it. 
So because I ran out, I ended up using some hair that I just already had and made it work. But I probably did about 70 to 80 ish twists. So if you're wanting to just stick to the seven packs, I would say try to just stay around 70 twists or less. And then one more thing, and I am going to let you guys just watch until the end. The takedown of these is going to be very simple, you guys, because we're not wrapping this entire strand of twist. It's only being wrapped one to two inches long. That's it. So how you're going to take it down is you're going to unravel it. So like for my, for my twist, they're being wrapped going to the right. So at the very root of the twist, I'm going to unravel it going to the left. So the opposite way that they were wrapped, I'm just going to untwist it, unravel it. Um, and then you're just going to see a little knot, just a little knot that you'll have to cut. And then the rest of the twist just will come out as normal. Twists are very easy to undo. Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did not create this style, you guys. I seen this style somewhere. Um, I watched a video and I was like, I have to do this myself because I'm going to add this as a service to my clients. So I asked my cousin if she would let me, if she would be a model for me to do this. And so I did it and thought I would show you guys the process as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Stay tuned so you can see the very final result and also see how she looks when she's all nice and dolled up because she went to a wedding. Looks so pretty. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I will talk to you guys in my next video. I hope you guys be blessed, stay protected, and stay filled with love and peace.